ladies and gentlemen, filmmaker Ruben Green. Is that is that is that appropriate to call you filmmaker? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's absolutely appropriate to call me filmmaker. My man Ruben Green is in the house today, y'all. Welcome, oh, uh, welcome, welcome. Interview. Now, let me ask you something. How did you get started in filmmaking? Like, what, what put you into, say, one day, I want to be a filmmaker? Um, Actually, filmmaking was kind of chance of luck yeah. or a trade that was already expanding and I was a part of, which was photography. Yeah. I'm a second generation photographer. Okay. Um, doing it for over 15 years now. wow uh, actually i've learned how to walk in the photography studio to be honest with you so like it's, it just you know, runs in the blood yeah um but at the end of the day like i was really intrigued by film mm -hmm. and and just videography in general yeah so i've always kind of been connected to it and you know here i am now so you still do the photography i too, still do photography i do videography both full time yeah you know, that's my my deal well that's what's up that's cool yeah. so one of my things i want I think as a filmmaker, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming as a filmmaker, it's, you have to try to get your vision across to people and also, you know, get other people to understand your vision. How how difficult is that, you feel, as a filmmaker? Um, I think for the most part, every situation is a little different. Um, it depends more so on the client, yeah. you know, um, and what their expectations are. But a lot of times people hire me because they trust me. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't probably the greatest thing to say about myself, but honestly, I've been running my business for a little over seven to ten years now without okay. a website. Wow. Um, oh, sorry. All my work, uh, all the clients that I get, for mm -hmm. the most part, are, are you know, just word of mouth. Okay. Um, of course, I you know I have Facebook and, and, and YouTube and things of that nature. Um, and it's not that I don't see the value in investing in a website, but yeah. to a certain extent, it's kind of not necessary because the work speaks for itself, you know? Okay. So, do you have any films out there that you? Yeah, are, any you, big are films you straight that client that based? Anybody, yeah. Are you client based, or do you do independent stuff for you? Like, a little bit of both. A okay. little bit of both. Um, I don't have any major huge films out there, but I do have films that have been sponsored and funded by angel investors. Wow. Um, oh, cool. Uh, nice. One in particular actually has just funded a new one that I'm working on now, and a lot of them are kind of like dance based. Um, I find myself to be a huge lover and uh, of capturing dance. Mm -hmm. um, so this new project that I'm working on is called "You're Killing My Dream." Uh, it's based on um, the defunding of arts programs in Baltimore City Schools. Oh, wow! Um, and I put it along with uh, choreographer Tracy Jiggets. Uh, she's very well known within the Baltimore community. Um, and we use some of our students in the film. Um, so I'm working on that right now. It's about 90% done. It should be out probably. I'd say. Maybe February or so. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's thank exciting. you. Yeah. Thank you. And then we got this huge Billy Lyle project going on. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, yeah. We will get into that. Definitely. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I'm really excited about that. That's what's up. So, um, well, let's talk about Billy Lyle's project. How did you approach that? Uh, you know, for those that know, Billy is our producer of the show. And also, he's a independent hip hop artist. So, how did you approach that going in and taking on uh, the 56, 58 project? Um,. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, like Billy is is a phenomenal person, and I say that because you know, for him to be in his business for as long as he has, and like just really has the spirit of never giving up. Yeah. You know, and he always talks about his supporters and like, his love for the people around him and everything they do. Like, I really, you know, he he's a passion about it, mm -hmm. and I connect with people when they're passionate about their work yeah. know, and about what they do. Mm -hmm. So I think energy. that, yeah, and I think that's kind of what helped but. me from jump, you know what I'm saying? Like really connecting with his energy, his vibe, seeing his shows. Mm -hmm. uh, if I watched Billy live over the past few years, still continue to grow and flourish. Um, but more so like in regards to the way I approach things, I'm, I'm a storyteller, man, you know what I'm saying? So I try to grab every piece of footage that I can, you know, use every outlet that I can, whether it be audio, visual, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. and just try to tell the best story possible. Um, and he gave me a lot of